What is up guys, Chris Designs here, and this is the first part in my tutorial series where I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cool professional, nice looking intro, step by step. Uh, it's going to involve Cinema 4D, Photoshop and After Effects. I'm not sure how many parts it will have, um, but by the end of it you should have a really nice intro and lots of skills that you can take away and use to make intros for other people. So I've got an example of the kind of thing we're going to be making. This is the Predator Cinema intro. I'm sure you've um, quite a few of you have seen it. I'll just play it once. So um, we've got the kind of PC logo here. That flies in and hits this black back plate, and then. A second logo flies in and hits the other side of the back plate, and then the text rolls in. It's really nice looking, and then we've got flares down the side, which will be done in After Effects towards the end. So, um, in this part of the tutorial, we're just going to be making the black back plate with the text on it. And to do this, uh, the first program you're going to need is Photoshop. So, I've made a new blank canvas and you want to come to your text tool and you want to pick a font. Now, um, you need to find something that will work. Uh, I think you can decide for yourself if it will work. It needs to be quite chunky. Um, I've got some here, but I'm just going to use the same font as the Predator Cinema intro, which is Haunting Attraction. Uh, I might put a link in the description for it. So, I'm just going to click here. And for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to write A, B, C. Now, you don't want more than three letters. Um, two actually works the best. And um, three is the maximum. So you, if your name um, was, I don't know, uh, well, like Predator Cinema, it's PC. So they've just got PC flying in. Just decide, what you, uh, just decide yourself what letters you want. So the first thing we're going to do is hold control and click on the thumbnail up here with the T in it. And this will select the whole layer. You don't want to come to select, modify, expand. And I normally start off expanding by 10 pixels. I'm going to click OK. Now that's not enough. So I'm going to go ahead and select, modify, expand. And expand it 10 one more time. So that looks about right. Um, we have got a very small gap here, which um, we can fix in a minute. But we're going to want to make a new layer now. Come to the Fill tool. Make sure the color is on black. Make sure that's on black. And then just click inside the selection. Click there. And then uh, on the keyboard, click Control D. That will deselect. And now you can delete your original text layer. And we want to fill in these gaps. Um, you can do this a number of ways. I'm just going to come to the rectangular, the rectangle tool, the shape tool, and click on there and just drag it over these gaps. And because it's made a new shape, you're going to want to select your original um, shape and the rectangle you've just made and click Control E to group them. So uh, now we've got our back plate. Now the last thing we need to do with this is get it into Cinema 4D. So to do that, you're going to want to come to your Magic Wands tool, um, click on the black, come up to Paths, the Paths palette. If you don't see this, um, it's not in your layout. Come to Window and down to Paths. Make sure that is ticked. And this little uh, button down here, if you hover over it, it will say make work path from selection. You want to click that. And if we now hide this, you'll see we've got um, an outline. So with this outline, you're going to want to come to file, export, paths to illustrator. And you want to make sure it's on work path. Press OK. Save it wherever you want. ABC, save, and that's pretty much the um, whole Photoshop element done. So now we can jump into Cinema 4D. Let's check how much time. Okay, 
So now you want to come to, uh, well the first thing you want to do whenever you open up Cinema 4D is check your render settings. Make sure the output is on 1280 by 720 and we'll leave it like that for now. We don't need to add anything else, just get the size right. So now we're going to come to File, Open and we need to find the file we made. There it is, ABC. Double click press OK. If you want to make it bigger you can put the scale up but I'm fine with it. Just press OK and there we have it. To make it 3D come to this option here and go to Extrude NURBS. Drag the ABC object you've got up into the Extrude NURBS until the arrow is pointing down and let go. That makes it 3D. And then click on the Extrude NURBS and you can change the size here or the um, the thickness so I'm going to put that up to 40 and I'm also going to add a caps come to caps go to fill a cap and that looks pretty nice as it is I'm going to put the radius down a bit put that down to 4 okay we've got the back plate um, to make it easier to use as you can see uh, the movement tool is all the way down here um, so to fix that if you see I have to come all the way down here to move it if I go to rotation it rotates it weirdly because the rotation tool isn't in the shape it's all the way down here so to fix that come to uh, click on your extrude nerves come to this orange arrow here orange double arrow and come to the movement tool and just move uh, these arrows, the centre of these arrows, you see this little white box where all the arrows are joined to move that into the very middle of your shape there we go and hit enter and now I can rotate it from the shape also um, because I opened this uh, the render settings have gone back to their default so when you change the render settings make sure you change the dimensions after you've opened it <laughs> that's a bit of a mistake but now that we've got our back plate the last step the uh, last step I'm going to do in this tutorial is to add the text so come to MoGraph text object and down here um, click on the text object and type in whatever text um, we need to type in the text you typed in in Photoshop which is ABC so ABC make sure it is exactly the same font you used in Photoshop which is haunting attraction for me click OK and I'm going to drag it up so it's nearer the back plate as you can see it is way too big at the moment we will fix that in a minute but firstly uh, you just want to make your text look nice so I'm going to increase the depth to about 30 and add a caps just like I added a caps to the extrude nerves go to fill a cap and I'm going to drag that down to 4 again now the last step is just to enlarge it so it fits onto the back plate so we're going to come to the scale tool and we're just going to pull this up till it fits perfectly so that is too small at the moment enlarge it a bit more and you'll know when it um, that's slightly too big uh, you'll know when it fits just by eye you'll be able to see to move this over slightly and you might also have to um, put the horizontal spacing up which is in the, uh, if you click on your text object, go to object and go to the horizontal spacing you might have to put that up a bit to make it fit in properly and that looks like it fits in I'm going to put this down slightly yeah you really do need to just play around with it it's all about um, playing around getting it perfect that's just about it though and the last step is just to make sure that it lines up with the back plate make sure it's not disconnected from it 
Uh, just a minute. There we go. Uh, make sure that it's just resting on it. And that's pretty much it. So um, that is the first step. We've got the logo and uh, the backplate done. And obviously, like the Predator Cinema intro, if you wanted it on the back as well, you can just do click on the text object, go to Control C, then Control V to copy it, and just drag this behind, like so. And now we've got it on both sides. So that is the first part of um, my intro series tutorials. In the next step, we're going to be adding materials to this and we're going to be making it look really cool setting up a scene with lights and stuff and maybe go into a bit of animation uh, go into animating it so it drops down and the abc hits the back plate so i hope this first tutorial was helpful um subscribe and uh, comment rate and subscribe and stay tuned for the next tutorial so i hope this helps this is cruise designs and i'll see you in the next video